He nearly died for math, but his equations power space exploration today. The 19th century. Europe is buzzing with revolutions, political upheavals, new empires rising, old ones collapsing. But in the quiet halls of universities, another revolution is taking place. Not with guns, not with armies, but with chalk, ink, and a mind that refused to stop calculating. This is the story of Carl Gustav Jacob Jacobi, a man who pushed his body to the breaking point, driven by an unstoppable hunger to uncover the hidden language of mathematics. And yet, despite his genius, his name is barely remembered outside lecture halls. Jacobi was born in 1804 in Potsdam, Prussia, a child of modest means, but with a mind so sharp it seemed destined for numbers. He was barely a teenager when he mastered classical languages, philosophy, and mathematics. His teachers quickly realized, this boy was not ordinary. But here's the twist, Prussia in those days wasn't exactly welcoming to Jewish families. Opportunities were limited. To even have a career, Jacobi had to convert to Christianity. It was a painful choice, but one he made for survival and for science. And once he entered the university system, Jacobi's brilliance lit up the mathematical world. Imagine this. You're staring at problems so difficult, most mathematicians don't even dare attempt them. That was Jacobi's playground. He dived into number theory, analysis, elliptic functions, fields so abstract they seemed almost like riddles of the universe. At just 24 years old, Jacobi did something extraordinary. He developed the theory of elliptic functions alongside the equally brilliant Niels Henrik Abel. These functions weren't just beautiful. They became tools that physicists still use today to understand planetary motion, electricity, and even quantum mechanics. But Jacobi didn't stop there. His brain was a furnace of ideas. He developed determinants, the Jacobi identity, the Jacobi elliptic functions, and canonical transformations that would later be vital in mechanics and physics. If you've ever studied Hamiltonian mechanics, the framework that underlies classical mechanics, quantum mechanics, and statistical physics, you're standing on Jacobi's shoulders. But genius always comes with a price. Jacobi worked endlessly, chasing ideas with a kind of fever. He would write, calculate, and lecture until his body simply couldn't keep up. And then, the inevitable happened. He collapsed. His health deteriorated. His doctors ordered him to stop working. His obsession with mathematics was literally killing him. But Jacobi refused. He famously declared, Man was not born to eat and drink, but to think. It sounds inspiring, but it was also tragic. He sacrificed his health, his strength, everything, for mathematics. But life was not kind to him. His financial situation was always precarious. His health continued to worsen. Despite his contributions, Jacobi lived in constant struggle, often relying on friends and admirers to support him. And then, just as suddenly as he rose, his life was cut short. In 1851, at the age of just 46, Jacobi died of smallpox. 46 years. That's all he had. And yet, in that brief time, he left behind a mathematical legacy so vast, entire branches of mathematics still carry his name. Today, Jacobi's work is everywhere often hidden in plain sight. In the Jacobian matrix, used in engineering and robotics. In the Jacobi identity, fundamental to modern algebra and physics. In celestial mechanics, where his methods help us predict the motion of planets and satellites. And yet, outside of math circles, his name is barely remembered. If stories like this fascinate you, stories of forgotten geniuses, brilliant minds who reshaped our world but were nearly lost to time, then don't let Jacoby's story vanish again. Hit that like button, share this video, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel.